What's going on guys, Rob Three Strong. Today I'm gonna teach you how to jump. If you wanna look at the mechanics of how to squat, go to my squat videos. But why am I bringing up squats? Jumping is actually a progression, a um, further progression up from the squat. The squat is kind of a prerequisite. If we can nail down the movements and get all the angles right and have a solid squat, then that makes our jumping easier. Let me show you. This is the squat. If I squat down, pushing those hips back, bending the knees, keeping the feet flat, driving back up. If I was going to jump, what would I do? Down, and then I'd jump back up. Notice how the loading in the jump is actually just the first part of the squat. This little shortened range is the exact same movement pattern that I would have in my squat. But the jump obviously is much faster. We need to get a lot more speed, a lot more power to be able to propel our center of gravity off the ground. Another reason why I bring up the squat is that if we can't stabilize our knee joint in a slow controlled movement, what do you think is going to happen when we go faster? Things are going to fall apart. So if you can't nail down a nice squat, keeping the knees over the ankles, or loading the hips and taking the stress off the knees, jumping is going to look much like this. The knees are gonna go forward, and they're gonna bow in, and this is what your jump is going to look like. I can't tell you how many people I've seen do jumps, and their knees are constantly knocking together. That is no good. The knee is actually not designed to do that. The knee is a hinge joint. It, it's meant to extend and bend. Extend and bend. And that's it. The range of motion comes from the hips. So this is a ball and socket joint here. So if the knee turns in, the knee isn't designed to stabilize itself in that position. It's all coming from the hips. So if we are able to drive those knees out, strengthen our butt and do a proper squat. That just lets us know that when we do a more challenging movement, a more challenging progression, such as jumping, that we're really not gonna have any issues. But let's just go over the mechanics anyway. So if I start with a basic jump, so this won't be a squat jump, this will just be a, uh, a basic jump. So if we get set up here, hands at the side, butt back, knees slightly bent, I drive up, and then I come right back down into this position. Jump up, quickly get back down in that position. Notice everything, the hips are going back, I'm loading those hamstrings and the glutes, I'm not letting the knees go forward and putting stress there, I'm putting everything on the big powerhouse of the body, your butt. So let's look at that from a different angle. Get ourselves loaded, knees are over the feet, drive up, quickly drop, drop back down, and those knees are still gonna stay there. If you need to cue yourself a little bit or, or um, uh, check the knee position, every time, once you drive up, drop back down, just double check, make sure the knees are out, and you're gonna go through that series. Try that hold at the bottom to get everything aligned, because now with CrossFit and all those kind of functional forms of fitness, people are doing a lot of, a lot of box jumps. And that landing, it's not driving up so much, but just getting themselves set up, and then they drop back down, and then they constantly have this position here, which is no good, no good. Try, before you do box jumps, get set up in that good position, drive up, drop back down, hold that position. Make sure your knees are over the feet. Okay guys? Try that for, I don't know, a few sets, a few tries, get lined up, and uh, that's actually really gonna help your leg strength and power and speed. Um, so that, there it is right there. That's how you jump. See you tomorrow.